All right. Time to dive into something a little different. Today we're talking MPV. MPV, yeah. And I know, I know, on the surface it sounds kind of, well, it's another media player. Right. Like, how many do we need? But this one, this one's interesting. It's got, like, a cult following. Yeah. People who are really, really into customizing their video experience, they love this thing. Yeah. It's definitely the uh, the power user's choice okay. when it comes to media players. So we're not talking about just like throwing on cat videos here. This is this seems no, not. this seems like some next level stuff. And what I'm getting from the notes you sent, it's not just powerful. It's almost like the the ultimate customizable media player. It really is. That's a good way to put it. Like out of the box, you know, it's not going to win any awards for right. like being user friendly, right? Right. In fact, if you're used to just like you know double clicking something and having it play, right, right. MPV is going to seem really weird intimidating even yeah intimidating because it's it's all command line based at its core command line okay so like we're typing in code to get this thing to work well you could you could definitely go that deep but that's actually where its power comes from it was like imagine like instead of having a media player that has all these buttons and menus that are trying to guess what you want to do yeah it just gives you the raw tools to build your own perfect media player interesting okay so if you're willing to put in a little bit of effort you can make it do pretty much anything. So it's like instead of giving you a finished painting, it gives you all the brushes and paints and says, here you go, create your masterpiece. Okay. But we were talking about scripts. That's one of the things that really caught my eye. It's like, you can make MPV do practically anything with these scripts, right? It's true. If you can code it, MPV can probably do it. So give us some examples. What kind of crazy stuff are we talking about here? What can you script into MPV? Oh, man. Where do we even start? Want custom keyboard shortcuts for, like... Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Aspect ratio, changes on the fly, automatic subtitle downloads, even tweaking the actual visuals while something's playing. MPV says, go for it. Hold on. Tweaking the visuals while it's playing? What does that even... Yeah, like if you want to play with the colors, the contract, anything, you can do it with the script. It's wild. So you're telling me someone out there has probably written a script to like make their videos look like an old silent film in real time? Oh, absolutely. Or like... Adjust the colors based on the time of day or even react to the audio. Yeah. The possibilities are kind of endless. Okay. See, now you're just showing off. That is next level. But, okay, let's take a step back for a second because not all of us are, you know, coding wizards here. Right, right. What about those of us who just want to watch our movies without having to learn a new programming language? Does MPV have anything for the average uh, lesson wizardly viewer? It does, it does. Yeah. Because even if you never touch a single line of code, you still benefit from MPV's real focus on, like, high-quality video output. Okay, so it's not just for the tech wizards. No, it's like they use some really advanced technology under the hood that most other players don't bother with, and that means even if you're just watching a regular movie, it's probably going to look smoother, maybe perform better, just overall a more visually pleasing experience. Okay, so it's like even if you don't know how to drive a race car, you can still appreciate that it's a really, really well-engineered machine. That's a great way to put it. And speaking of performance, you mentioned that what's the magic behind that. I saw something in here about, like, GPU video decoding. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds impressive. It is. It's a bit technical, but... Basically, it means MPV can use your graphics card, the GPU, to process the video instead of just relying on your CPU. So mm -hmm. it takes a lot of the load off your main processor, which means smoother playback, especially for those, you know, 4K high resolution videos that everyone's watching these days. Right. It's like having a co-pilot in the cockpit. Your computer can handle the workload much better. Got it. So it's not just giving you all this control over how it looks. It's making sure that your computer can actually, like, keep up with what you're asking it to do. Exactly. That's pretty cool. It's a very efficient little program. It is. But there's one more thing I wanted to ask about before we wrap up here, and it's this whole embeddable thing. What does that even mean? Like, it can be embedded, what, into other programs? Is that what that means? You got it. That's exactly what it means. MPV is so well designed that other developers can actually take its core engine and use it in their own programs. Wait, really? Yeah. So you might be using a media player that, under the hood, is actually powered by MPV without even knowing it. So it's like the secret ingredient that makes other media players better. In a way, yeah. It's kind of cool when you think about it. That is cool. So it's kind of like this uh, 
unsung hero of the media player world. It really is. It's doing all this amazing stuff in the background, making other programs better, and then there's this whole other side to it where if you're willing to dig in and learn a little bit, you can really make it your own. I love that. So for anyone listening who's feeling a little adventurous, maybe wants to tinker with their media experience a little bit, MPV might be worth checking out. It really speaks to like the power of open source software, doesn't it? Totally. And you never know, you might just discover a whole new world of possibilities within your media player. I think you're right about that. All right. Well, I'm feeling inspired. Me too. Time to go tinker with some settings and see what kind of crazy stuff we can come up with. Thanks for the deep dive today. Until next time. Anytime.